Hey guys, Jen here. So I know this isn't travel related or music related, but you know what? Sometimes I like to do something different and a little fun. Weather's been kind of iffy and I wanted to show you guys today my special air fryer zucchini or veggies, whatever veggies you want to use. Zucchini is great. Zucchini, peppers, heck, onion rings. This works great where it actually tastes like fried vegetables but in the air fryer. So I'm gonna do this really quick. We've got this Philips air fryer that we're going to be using today. So what I'm starting with is I've got a little more than one zucchini, just cause I wanna use this up. We used the other half. Cut off the ends. Why don't you come around here, Milos, and get this. So again, you guys, I am not a chef. I am not a trained cook. I am none of these things. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice the whole thing up and I just want like these quarters. So see these quarters, that's what we want. The whole thing of quarters. La, la, la. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. As always, be careful using your knife. Like I said, I sometimes make this with red peppers chopped up around the same size and that turns out really, really good too. But today I'm just going to do the zucchini. I wanna put olive oil in just enough to make all the zucchini wet, okay? So it's not like as much oil as you would fry something in in a pan. Basically, I'm just taking two spoons, if you guys can see. I'm just getting all the zucchini pieces wet with olive oil. That's it. Then I'm gonna season. Now, you can use salt by itself if that's all you want. I personally like different kinds of seasonings. This is a seasoned salt. This is all I have left of this. This is really good. We are not affiliated with, these, with this brand, but it's just really darn good. It's a seasoning salt. It's like salt with like, I think onion powder in it and garlic powder. So I'm just sprinkling a little in. And again, like rigorously stirring. So I'm getting a little bit of seasoning on everything. So there, again, stirring, stirring, stirring. Now, Milos doesn't like zucchini. So this is just for me, which means I can put a little heat in it. So I also uh, like ground chili pepper flakes to get a, bit, a little bit of a zing. Very good, you can see there. And again, I'm just gonna stir the heck out of it. All right, next step, Parmesan cheese. You want the like the powdery type of Parmesan, not like the little flakes that you can get pre-shredded in the grocery store in the US. This is like powder, the powdery kind of cheese. So this is really, really close to Parmesan, what we can get in Croatia, it's called Rivarac, but it basically does the same thing. In the US you would do Parmesan. So see how it looks like a gently fallen snow in there? Ah, oh, so nice. So I'm gonna do that. And again, stir the heck out of it, you guys. Do we have a kitty helper? Mm-hmm, I think so. Once I've, uh, well, well, my little helper, you stay over there, buddy. He wants to help. Next, we're gonna get some breadcrumbs. You know what, the other thing too, I was gonna say get unseasoned breadcrumbs so it doesn't conflict with the seasoning you put in, but you know what, if you don't put seasoning in and you wanna skip that step, you could always use like seasoned breadcrumbs. I haven't tried it, but you could always experiment. Now, I'm gonna put breadcrumbs in kind of the same way that I did the Parmesan to make it just look like it snowed a little bit last night and it's just on the treetops. And again, I'm stirring, I'm stirring. But you know what, I'm just gonna put a little bit more Parmesan, like another little snow fairy. Tiger, you curious, aren't you baby? You're curious. All right, so take a look. This is what it kind of looks like. Some good light. Everything's just kind of coated with Parmesan and breadcrumbs and whatever seasoning you put on it. So now I'm going to, this is the kind 
the air fryer we have. It's the one with the basket. It's Phillips. So I am going to pour these into my air fryer. Scrape out the bowl of any extra stuff. Kind of distribute this all around, make it even. Anytime you're stirring this or moving this stuff around though, you want to be really careful or you might just lose all your coating. You will lose some coating, I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna have breadcrumbs to clean up at the end on the bottom. I wanna do kind of a couple processes. We want to cook it first at a little bit of a lower temperature and then at a higher temperature. And I played around with different temperatures uh, so that it didn't get burnt and it didn't like lose kind of the texture that you want. So uh, this is in Celsius obviously you guys. So I'm gonna start with 150 Celsius for five minutes, okay? After five minutes, I'm gonna gently stir it, but we'll be right back and I'll show you. It's the perfect break for kitty snuggles while you wait for your food. Look at me right now, I don't know why. Why, baby, why? Okay. Just gonna stir it. All right. As you can see, you guys, it's so not done. But I'm going to ever so gently stir it around, move it around just a little bit. Don't stir it hard, or you are literally bleh bleh bleh. Don't stir it hard, or you will literally lose all your coating. Now, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Keep it at 150 Celsius, five minutes. And go. And more kitty plates. More kitty snuggles. Oh my goodness. More kitty snuggles as we wait. More kitty snuggles as we wait. Yes, my little helper. Yes, my little helper. Where's daddy got there? Mm. Who's the handsomest kitty? All right, another five minutes has passed. And yes, yes, see, this is, okay, yeah, you have to do some, some stirring again. Not too big of a pain, but you, again, want to do it so freaking gently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the temperature. I am going to do it for a shorter time, and just judging on how it looks is how I'm going to know when it's done. So I'm going to do four minutes right now at 170 Celsius. So that four minutes is up and already, so you can see, it's changing. We're getting a little bit browned here. This is good. Again, we went up to look, just like, you know, fried veggies. So again, I'm gently stirring, flipping them over. You can kind of see it's almost there, but it's not quite there. It's really not brown and crispy everywhere yet. Back we go. Do the four minutes again. Four minutes. And go. This is still at 170. And I still have my little key helper right here by my feet. Alright, you guys, so it just reached. La, la, la. Let's take a look. That is looking pretty darn good, you guys. So I'm going to empty this out into my bowl. Now remember, I told you, you're gonna have a lot of crumbs left over to clean up out of here. And that's no joke. I, I don't know, if you know a way around this, I would be happy to hear from you. Anyway, what's really awesome about this is this is light and crispy. And it tastes just like it was fried in a deep fryer but it's so much healthier. So thanks guys, I hope you liked this little fun uh, how-to video on making these fried veggies. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll have more videos coming your way soon. Thanks so much, bye.